What's up guys, this is Mike from Terrestrial Imaging and today we got a video on the E90. We're going to do an unboxing of it and uh, touch on a couple things uh, that we think you should know. Now we already touched upon this a little bit and did a little unboxing in our H520 unboxing video, but a few questions arise from that and we got some answers and we got some things we want to point out and let you know and give you some suggestions. So let's get started. So when you get the E90, it's going to come in this box. It's just a plain cardboard box. So we're going to open it up, take everything out, show you what we got. So we got the quick start guide. There it is. We got a little uh, warranty sheet. It says call unique if you got any issues. Just the top layer of foam to protect it. So now I'm going to take the whole foam insert out. And this is, so let me show you. This is foam cut specifically for the E90 camera and its lens filter ring. So, see we got some spare rubber gimbal dampers, three of them. And then we got the camera itself, obviously. It's in there a little tight. You got it, awesome looking camera, works great too. And then the filter ring. So now, currently there's no filters available yet, but there will be some soon. So this is um, for when those come out. You just screw it, you screw off this lens, screw this on, and then I'm assuming once the filters come out, you're gonna screw those in. So that's what that is. And then, under the camera, you got a little tab you pull out, and it comes with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. You're gonna take that out. And this card, whoop, it's in there tight. This card already has like a little manual and a quick start guide in it, so you could just take those off the card, save them on your computer somewhere, and then clear the card and then use it for your videos and photos. So that's everything you get. I want to emphasize that you don't get a gimbal lock. So if you get this camera and you see that there's no lock and you're confused, that's how it's supposed to come. There is no lock. So what we recommend is when you're not using the camera, you're going to want to put it back in this foam insert. So that way you can keep it nice and safe. So that's what to expect when you get your E90 camera. So one of the questions that we got from our first unboxing video was a very good question that I want to touch upon is, will this foam fit in the Seago ET case? And can you put the E90 in the Seago ET case? And that's a good question because it's a very good case. And um, a lot of people want to know how they could store their E90. So I'm going to open this case and show you what's in here. We got obviously a cutout and the Seago ET in here. So this cutout's designed specifically for the ET and got those for the accessories. So we of course tried to put the E90 in there and it just doesn't fit. So the next thing we thought was can this foam piece be put in here? And now, although it will fit, the dimensions allow it, this foam for the Seago ET is glued in place. So if you want to take this out, you're going to ruin the case. Uh, if, you, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you want to cut that out and be able to swap these, you can, but it's not something everyone wants to do. So what you can do, though, is I'm going to measure this and give you the dimensions here. So. The width of it is a little under six inches, and then the length is 6.5, and then the height is just under four. So what you can do is you could go to um, any, or online, any um, hardware store and get a case similar to this, and you could put this in here, and if the dimensions are a little bit off, you could modify it, put some foam in, and then you'll have a nice case for this. I'd recommend that. Now, what I don't recommend is a lot of people with the Typhoon H480, they would leave their Seago 3 Plus or Seago e ET camera on their Typhoon H480 while they're not using it. And that's okay with that because they have these gimbal locks. So if you shake the camera, if you're moving around, it's not gonna move. This gimbal isn't gonna get damaged. Now with the E90, since there's no lock, if you leave it on here and put it in the foam and put it in your case and Obviously, when you're traveling, it's not always so smooth. You might be on a bumpy road or something. This thing's now 
flying all over the place, spinning, bouncing. So it might damage the gimbal. I wouldn't recommend it. This is a much more expensive camera. To break this would not be ideal. So that's why I recommend always storing it in here. And if you can, find yourself a case to put this in and then you have a really good solution for carrying your E90. Before we wrap up, I'd just like to say I'm pretty confident that there will be a case for the E90 very soon and you could count on terrestrial imaging to have that, so don't worry about that. So I hope this has been a helpful video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Feel free to subscribe. Join us on Facebook at Mad for Multi Rotors and visit us on the web at www.terrestrialimaging.com.